Hi YouTube, back to basic scale here. Well, this last weekend we got our horseradish planted and I harvested a bit of it. So it is time to make uh, fire cider, which is basically an herbal medicine. Uh, some people would call it a tisane or an infusion, although it's not. It's made from the roots of the plant. Uh, anyway, uh, this is herbal medicine, basically. Uh, before I realized that I had not done a video on it, I had already started, so I've already peeled the ginger, I've already peeled and diced finely the horseradish root, uh, but the rest of the items, you know, it's pretty simple concoction to make. Uh, it definitely has a lot of health benefits. And again, I'm not a doctor or anything. Uh, I am just a person who makes herbal med medicine. <laughs> anyway, or herbal concoctions, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, uh, this stuff works wonders in my humble opinion. I make it every year and have since the late 70s uh, when I first got the recipe from a friend of mine. Here the horseradish has been diced finely and I'm doing the horseradish or the ginger root right now. Uh, the finer you dice this stuff, I'm going to add the garlic. The finer you dice this, the better it, it releases its healthful benefits into the apple cider vinegar. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finely dice the horseradish, the ginger, the garlic, the onion uh, into this. I'm going to add some cayenne pepper, which is also known as chemsaicin and I'm having a hard time saying that. I do have a head cold, which has prompted me to hurry up and get this stuff started. I usually have it done by now, but with everything that's been going on, uh, I'm late on everything this year. Anyway, the uh, I usually use a big uh, Spanish onion for this. I was out. I have a red onion left, which has obviously started to go to seed already. I'm going to use it anyway. Don't want to waste it. But uh, to give you a little bit of background on this, on, on what all these things do, the ginger, although everybody knows it's used for culinary items, uh, you know, for culinary purposes, it's used to fight infections, colds and coughs. It increases circulation, nausea and, nausea, nausea and vomiting. It also stimulates your appetite, to name a few of the beneficial things that uh, ginger gives you. Horseradish is most commonly used as a culinary uh, herb as well, but it also is known to raise the body's met metabolic rate and helps to cleanse. Uh, it removes toxins and promotes healing, not to mention it clears the sinuses. I will be using honey, by the way, um, to sweeten this at the, after I've let it macerate for four weeks. Uh, garlic is also a culinary herb, of course, and historically it's been used to fight infections and colds. It uh, promotes, its properties include to be antibiotic, antifungal, and antiviral. Uh, it's a very potent herb that you can use. Uh, cayenne is also known as capsaicin, and it's used in many medications. It's known to turn our body's thermostat on. It induces sweating, and, in, and it increases our coronary output, you know, gets that pump, that heart start to pump, and it promotes digestion, believe it or not. And raw onions relieve sore throats and reduces uh, coughing. So all of these things put together really makes for a, a real strong um, herbal medicine. And when you pour the apple cider vinegar over this, you definitely want to make sure that you buy organic uh, apple cider vinegar with the mother. Uh, if you don't, it's not going to have all the uh, benefits that you get from the apple cider vinegar as well. Anyway, you dice all this stuff up real fine, uh, the finer the better, and you're going to let it sit on your countertop for four weeks and you want to shake this every day. That's why I leave it right by my sink so every day I grab hold of it when I get up in the morning I shake it a couple times. Uh, once it's done macerating for the four weeks 
I strain it twice through cheesecloth so I get a real fine, um, you know, clear concoction out of it. I don't want any of the, uh, you know, broken down herbs or, uh, you know, items in here to get into my final product. So I strain it through the cheesecloth twice. And then at that point, you add the honey. And like I said, I will be putting all the ingredient amounts below the video. I'll also have a write-up about this on my blog. So if you want to write down, you know, what each thing does for you, you can do so there. You can do your own research on it. But anyway, um, like my husband's allergic to honey, so I can't put it in one of the bottles. I just mark it without the honey. It's still going to have a lot of the healthful benefits. Uh, honey just helps coat the throat, and I think it helps, um, you know, reduce the likelihood that you're going to have a coughing fit. That's why I always like to add honey to mine. Plus that, I like the sweetness that it adds to it. Um, I'm a baby, so I only add half the amount of the cayenne pepper because I do find that that stuff really, uh, really gets me uh, sweating. So <laughs> it's also too hot. I'm a baby, so. I use half the amount. Uh, I will put the full amount in the instructions. You can adjust it any way you see fit. Uh, I can't handle the um, the whole amount. It just is too much for me. So uh, my husband's on his. I add a little bit more. He can handle it. I can't. <laughs> anyway, I also like to add the add the lemon. I'd add a little bit of vitamin C to it. Um, I like. I actually like it for the flavoring. I, since this is an organic lemon, I will be saving the uh, the peel on this. I will be mincing it off so I can uh, freeze it. I don't. I'm not going to waste it. The zest of it. I'm going to be freezing it. Anyway, I'm going to add the cayenne pepper to this. And the best one, if you can find, uh, you can find it under the name Casasin, and that's C A P S A I N C I N. Uh, they make a really good one. Uh, they grow it down in uh, Louisiana. If you can find that, um, that is really a good uh, good one from the research I've done. And again, I'm going to pour the natural organic apple cider vinegar over all of the diced up culinary herbs, I guess you'd call it. And if you go online, you'll find different recipes for this, but the basis is always these items. So... If you want to add the other items that you find online, you know, go for it. Um, I've found that this is uh, this is adequate for what I what I like. Um, I find that it uh, it's good just the way it is. Anyway, it's definitely definitely uh, potent medicine. Once uh, once this stuff macerates, it really really is good stuff. You can actually use this in salad dressing. I mean, think about it. Everything in there we use in our our food dishes so it does make a really nice addition to salad dressings I've actually just drizzled this over you know over different uh, meats and stuff as well just to have for dinner time uh, so it's more than just a medicine actually I'm going to take a taste of it for you here and it will get stronger as it macerates oh yeah good stuff anyway this will sit on my countertop for the next four weeks. I will be straining it through the cheesecloth. I will be adding honey to my portion of this. I go through about four quarts of this a season. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy this. It really is a good uh, addition to your medicine cabinet. That's uh, a lot healthier for you, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, as always, this is Back to Basics Gal. Thanks so much for stopping by.